Hello guys, today I want to show you a really quick method to rank up your throne ward reputation. This method only works once you reach rank 15 and unlock the deep side tier 3. To unlock deep side tier 3, considering that after finishing the campaign you're gonna roughly be already level 7 or 8, you just want to be uh, entering an instance with two friends. Each one of you can place itself in a different area. From now on you just start uh, uh, completing patrols. The best patrol to complete is the uh, this one right in front of me, the, the exploration one, because it actually takes 10 seconds, you don't even have to change area, and uh, it's 3 XP. It gives you 40 XP. I'll show you real quick. This gives XP to, to every 30 member, so it's really nice to like cycle them. I don't really suggest uh, kills... Uh, or scavenger patrols unless like they are the only ones available in the areas. Other things to do are like public events, they give 130 XP when heroic, Ike value targets give, gives 40... they give 40 or 60 depending on uh, their difficulty and uh, just a regular like materials and uh, chests they give 20 so make sure to have uh, this mod here on Wombo Detector the level 6 one. Make sure to do that and like roam around while doing patrols. So basically your farm uh, route will be just do patrols as much as you can with your fair team in different areas while also grabbing materials. Uh, also make sure to have a sniper on you because having a sniper as long as you aim down sight shows you every chest and like material in the area from really far away. So getting to rank 15 with this method is gonna roughly take three hours I think. And once you've done that, that's where the real farm begins. Uh, once you unlock the, the the deep side tier 3, you want to be going to this area that I'm showing now on the map, uh, on the top right, at Queen's Bailey. So your route for the farm, you can do this solo, it's actually nice to do this solo. You're just gonna go here. So from spawn you go to the right basically. Then you got to go across this area. This method gives you roughly uh, one full rank every like five minutes. It's actually insane, so I suggest to do this before it gets patched. And also, sorry if the video is kind of scuffed, but I'm recording this uh, on stream. So you go here, what I'm just showing. There are three chests that are farmable. I don't know if those are supposed to be farmable, but they are, so just use it until you can, let's say. And they give 200 XP each. Remember that one rank give, uh, requires only 1000, so this is crazy. Like Doing this route twice already gives more than one rank. So you, you activate the deep side here, you gotta shoot those lanterns. You gotta light them, them all up. Just I'm not sure about the sequence, I think it changes, but it's pretty easy, like... There it is. Actually, no. Wait. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, this is hard. <laughs> I'm not exactly certain about the sequence. Okay, there it is. It worked. Like, it, it changes. It's like a puzzle. Certain ones deactivate other ones. So you just gotta, like... You just gotta do it. It takes, like, usually 20-30 seconds. After you do this one, you just wanna go here on the right. There is another deep side. You activate it. This one actually takes 5 seconds. You just jump up here. There is this chest and that's another free 200. Super easy. Then you just quickly enter this room on the right. There is another deep side. This one requires you to shoot 5 runes. Uh, they spawn in like random spots but they're super easy to find. 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then you grab the chest, another 200 XP, you got half your rank and there it is, you just go to orbit, don't teleport back, make sure to go to orbit and uh, run it back. You can easily max out your rank in 5 hours total doing this. Once reaching rank 15, probably takes less than, than 1 hour to reach rank 30 which is max rank. Hope you guys found the video useful and uh, see you in the next one.